Hello and welcome to NerdZap. Today I'm going to show you a really easy way of running Windows 11 from your Steam Deck using nothing but a micro SD card. Well, a micro SD card and a Steam Deck, but no PC required for this setup. Now the great thing about this method is you can choose to boot from a micro SD card into Windows 11. And when you're done with that, you can just boot into Steam OS from the drive built into your Steam Deck. So you have the best of both worlds. I'll talk you through the setup process step by step and if you stick around until the end of the video, I'll also give you some bonus tips on how to set up Windows 11 to play nicely with your Steam Deck, including things like setting up the touch keyboard to appear. So let's kick things off by booting into desktop mode. If you haven't already set up a super user password on your Steam Deck, you'll need to set one. You can do this from the user menu or by running passwd in the console. Once you have your password set up, you'll need to download two files. The first is a Windows 11 image. Downloads from archive.org can be a bit slow, so I'll try to include an alternative link in the description. The next file you need to download is a piece of software called Etcher. You can download it from the link on screen. Click Download Etcher and be sure to select the Linux 64-bit version of the software. Once you have these two files, make sure that the micro SD card that you want to use is in your Steam Deck. It's important to note at this point that this process will overwrite everything on your micro SD card, so make sure you have a backup if there's anything important on there. Run Etcher and choose the option to flash from file. Select the Windows 11 image that we downloaded earlier and click continue to this message. Choose select target and then select the option to show hidden drives. Make sure you select your SD card. You may be able to tell this from the capacity or if you're not sure, make sure it matches the location shown on screen. Choose next and then select the option to flash. Enter your super user password, select OK, and the flash process will begin. How long this takes will depend on the type of SD card you have and what speeds it's rated for. Once the flashing process is completed, you should get some messages that look like this. Shut down your Steam Deck and we'll move on to the next steps. Hold the volume down button and the power button, then release them at the same time to bring up the Steam Deck's boot menu. Once you're in the boot menu, select your micro SD card. At this point, Windows 11 will finish setting itself up on the micro SD card. This can take some time to complete and obviously it depends on what kind of SD card you have. You may find it reboots several times during this process too. Just be patient, it will complete. If all goes well, you should find yourself in the Windows 11 out of box experience. You've probably noticed at this point that the screen orientation is set to portrait. Don't worry about this, we'll sort it out later. Just run through the setup wizard and we'll pick back up once we're on the Windows desktop. Now Windows is loaded, the first thing we need to do is to change the screen orientation. If you can plug in a mouse at this point, I'd recommend it, but it can be done using just the Steam Deck. Right click the desktop and choose display settings. Change the screen orientation to landscape and then select the option to keep changes. The next thing I recommend doing is setting up the touch keyboard to always appear when tapping the screen. This should happen by default, but I find the experience to be a little bit flaky unless you change the setting I'm about to show you. In the settings menu, choose time and language, then select typing. Select touch keyboard and change show the touch keyboard to always. Next, we need to extend the Windows partition to use the full capacity of the micro SD card. If you don't do this step, you'll find yourself running out of space very quickly. Run the computer management console, then select disk management. Right click the Windows 11 partition and choose extend volume. Just run through the wizard using the default options and you should find that it extends to use the full space. Disk 0 is your internal Steam Deck drive, best not to change any settings here. As you can see, the Windows 11 partition has now extended. Next, you'll need to download the Windows Steam Deck drivers from the Steam website. You can find them at this link which I'll leave in the description. Be sure to download the correct drivers for your Steam Deck model. All of the drivers downloaded will be contained within zip files, 
extract these first before installing. You'll find that the installation process for installing these drivers is a little bit inconsistent. For some you'll use a setup exe, for others you'll be right clicking an INF file and choosing install, and we've also chucked in a batch file there for good luck. If you're unsure on how to install any of these, instructions are included on the download page. Once you've finished installing the drivers, I recommend checking for Windows updates. There were quite a few pending for me and I find myself having to reboot a few times before there were none left to install. This one's personal preference, but I found enabling the traditional keyboard to be far more versatile has allowed me to use keyboard shortcuts such as Ctrl Alt Delete. We're all done, so what you do now is up to you. Personally, I keep this microSD card in my Steam Deck case and swap it out whenever I need to run Windows. If you found this video helpful, a thumbs up would be really appreciated, and for all things nerdy, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.